200 million years ago, all seven continents were joined together in a supercontinent called Pangaea. Over time, they split apart and developed independently, leading to the evolution of different plants, animals, and bacteria on each continent. By 1492, when Christopher Columbus landed in the Caribbean, the Americas had been isolated from the Old World for about 12,000 years. But Columbus' arrival and the subsequent European exploration, conquest, and settlement changed that, bringing the continents back together and leading to far-reaching effects that we still feel today. The historian Alfred Crosby coined the term Columbian Exchange in the 1970s to describe the massive exchange of people, animals, plants, and diseases between the Eastern and Western Hemispheres after Columbus' arrival in the Americas. During Columbus' second voyage to the Caribbean in 1493, he brought 17 ships and over 1,000 men to explore further and expand an earlier settlement on the island of Hispaniola, present-day Haiti and the Dominican Republic. The ships also carried hundreds of domesticated animals like sheep, cows, goats, horses, and pigs, none of which were found in the Americas. The Europeans also brought seeds and plant cuttings to grow old world crops like wheat, barley, grapes, and coffee in the fertile soil they found in the Americas. Staples eaten by indigenous people in America, such as maize, corn, potatoes, and beans, as well as flavorful additions like tomatoes, cacao, chili peppers, peanuts, vanilla, and pineapple, would soon flourish in Europe and spread throughout the old world, changing the traditional diets in many countries. When the people, plants, and animals from the old world arrived, they brought their diseases with them. The pigs on Columbus ships spread swine flu, which made Columbus and other Europeans sick and killed many native Taino people on Hispaniola. Smallpox and other diseases like measles, influenza, and malaria also wreaked havoc on the Native American population, who had no immunity to these illnesses. Historians believe that between 80 and 95 percent of Native Americans died within the first 100 to 150 years after 1492 due to these diseases. The impact of disease, along with the cultivation of cash crops like sugarcane and tobacco, had a devastating consequence. European settlers turned to the slave trade to meet the demand for labor, resulting in the forced migration of around 12.5 million Africans between the 16th and 19th centuries. The Colombian exchange had a big impact on the spread of diseases, with one deadly disease, syphilis, making its way from the Americas to Europe. The first outbreak of syphilis in Europe occurred in 1495, and it caused symptoms such as genital ulcers, rashes, tumors, severe pain, and dementia, and was often fatal. Some believe that Columbus and his crew brought the bacteria that causes syphilis back to Europe from Hispaniola, while others argue that syphilis already existed in the Old World but was mistaken for other diseases. Recent evidence seems to support the theory that syphilis did indeed come from the Americas, as there is a genetic link between syphilis and a tropical disease found in Guyana.